Yesterday, Adobe released a beta version of Camera Raw 6.1. Now, it's not an intrinsic part of Photoshop or Lightroom, and indeed you can use it pretty much with any version of any Adobe software, but I'm going to show you it anyway, because raw manipulation is really part of any digital photographer's workflow nowadays. If you've never seen raw before, basically you can change the photo without destructively altering the original file. As you can see, there are hundreds of sliders and tones and graphs and details and so on. But today I want to show you lens corrections, which have been added in this beta version. Now you could always change the lens aberration, but now Adobe have provided a bunch of profiles, which are well perfectly tailored to the lens. You see the vignetting here. Just one click and it's perfectly removed. If we zoom in a bit, you can also see that the chromatic aberration, which is the color either side of the edges, that's without and with. Now it's not perfect, but I mean, there's also a slider here if you want to correct it, but well, it's pretty damn good. And Adobe obviously have some engineers in house that have worked on this, or maybe they've interfaced with the lens makers themselves. As for the lens makers, there are profiles for all the five major lens makers and also. It's a fairly comprehensive list of lens profiles. If you really want, I can show you a different lens, but well, there's no point. Oh, and also there are profiles for different fits. So Sigma on a Canon, Sigma on a Nikon, and so on. If your lens isn't there, for example, I have a Canon 100mm, which isn't listed for some reason. Maybe it's not aberrated enough. There's always manual corrections. These have always been here in RAW. Well, they're in a better place now, or easier to access. And you can also save the profile, which is nice. Anyway, that's the new lens profiles in Camera Raw 6.1, and I suggest you all go download it now. It's only a beta, but I'm sure the production version will go live soon.